So check this out. You could have your 65 inch 4K OLED right there rolling up. It could be right in front of your window with the view out on the beach or out on the city. And then you have the TV coming up. So you can watch TV at night, for example, and uh, use the same space and position the TV in a different place in the living room. Instead of having it against the wall, you can have it in the middle of the room or you can have it in front of the window. So that's really cool. Uh, let's check it out like this. So hi, so who hi. are you? Hi, my name is Harry Kim and I'm from LG Display. So welcome to SID, Nicholas. That's a really exciting 65-inch uh, rollable OLED, yes. and it's fully 4K, fully it's fully OLED. 4K, fully OLED, and it has all the great benefits of OLED. The such full as, OLED? Yes, deep blacks, you know, wide viewing angles, the vibrant colors, it's all there. All the billions of colors and stuff? Yes, it, with the addition of this radical. sound coming out down here is like yeah. a, a sound bar, a big yeah. one. So the, when the yeah. display rolls down, uh, that's this compartment is where the display is being stored, but it can also double as a sound bar. So uh, this product has a sound bar attached to the compartment, but there are many possibilities. You can you know, apply furniture to that technology as well. It's a, one of many possibilities. There it comes down, and you can have it as like a, a right. smart home dashboard. Yes, and for instance, if you can, if you want to just watch the regular TV, you can have it as up all the way in 16 by 9 aspect ratio, or you can have a cinematic experience with uh, 21 by 9 as well. So that's uh, one of the coolest uh, flexible displays ever. Yes. Uh, let's it see, if it's rollable. It is. Uh, but this SID Display Week 2019, I want to see 8K. Do you have some 8K? Uh, 8K. This is our 88 8K. Uh, there's a lot of aches, but yeah. uh, so it has the four times the pixel density of uh, a 4K, regular 4K. Display. Yeah. So that close is yeah. oh, close to the mic. Yeah. Close up to the uh, pixels. Yeah. Oh, can you talk to the mic? Sure. I'm closer. Yeah. So this is like crazy high resolution. Yeah, you can even see, I, I bet you can see your house from here. No? And you could be reading a newspaper, like yes. crazy quality of the text. Yeah, it's almost a paper-like quality. Because there's 33 million pixels inside this product. What I want to see on the 8K is uh, it's just like something like family pictures. Yes. Anything that's higher than 8 megapixel right. is going to look great on an 8K TV. Yes, that's true. So this is uh, coming to the market soon. It is it a real product? It's not just yes, for it's, trade show? Right. This is not just for trade show. It will be coming to the market very soon. And um, do you have the same black level technology, pixel dimming, the same brightness? Same, same deal. Same deal and the same package. Just in 8K. Nice. 88 inch 8K. Right. That's like a dream, dream display. So you have a new generation of a crystal sound. Crystal sound. I can hear the sound localized. You can, you can touch, you can actually touch the screen and feel the vibration. You feel the vibrations? Yeah. Do you see my hand moving? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the sound is coming right there in the corner. Yes. And then it travels. Just along exactly with the where that is. Yes. Along with the UFO. And it can go up and it can go down. Yep. So that brings an extra kind of realism in hearing where the sound is. Right, and you can really immerse yourself. It, it gives you a localization of the sound. So the sound matches the yeah. images that's being played on the uh, TV. And uh, here you have some information about that. Yeah. Uh, so there's a person, right. and the person will be speaking on the right side of the screen. Right. The sound is coming out where the person is. Exactly. So. Let's say that you have a movie and a person shoots a gun from the right side of the TV, then the sound of the gunshot will come from the right side. And once the bullet hits the target then in the left side, then that sound will also come from the left. So nice. that's the uh, synchronized sound. 
And also, CSO can give you more immersive sound because uh, the conventional TVs, they have to fire their uh, sound downwards. You know? Under the screen. Yes, that's because... That uh, makes it unnatural, that breaks the psychovisual yes, experience. Yes, exactly. It, I mean, the, the, when the sound hits the ground, it becomes, it's, it doesn't hit the viewers, you know, first time around. Every other right. TV has a sound coming from outside the TV. Yes. This one has it coming from inside the TV. Inside the TV. Uh, outside the TVs, you know, TVs with sound boxes uh, or uh, home theater, uh, they tend to uh, obs they tend to obstruct the viewers uh, from enjoying their content to the fullest because it's just another uh, another equipment around the content that they're trying to watch, right? But I think is is uh, the big question is how's the quality compared to right. uh, like a high quality soundbar or right. compared to s satellite speakers? Right. So obviously, this isn't going to compare uh, up one to one uh, against really home theater environment, which is a big speakers. Big sometimes. speakers with uh, you know thousands of dollars of investment, yeah. you know. But if compared to conventional TVs and even some with, you know, dedicated sound box, it can, uh, it scored very high in terms of uh, this the general sound quality. Sound quality. Yes. And how about combining both? Can you have both the... the exactly. The, you can have this yes. and, that's and satellite. The, uh, there's always the option. The, today, you're just seeing a glimpse of the future. Uh, you can see another... Black right. So, what is this? So this we call it the yeah. we call it the rose, and what it is is there are four OLED panels, uh, 65 inch uh, UHD OLED panels, and they are uh, combined together to form uh, this unique uh, this unique shape. So it's a, on a, another demonstration of the flexibility of OLED. It is a demonstration of flexibility as well as how uh, the slim you can form entire, them. You can you can touch the screen um, and see just how thin it is. It's thin like a phone. It's thin, it's thin like a phone, and the OLED display panel itself yeah. is even thinner. This is uh, this is uh, the thickness of the entire housing. So, so this is like an art installation, kind of, right? It is an art installation, and. Uh, because OLED can have a very simple structure, uh, it can have these sort of uh, flexible form factors, right? And artists would like to have as much creative freedom in terms of their artworks. So if they get a hands-on with OLED products, then they can also do a similar installation or something better. This is so exciting that um, um LG is able to provide us all this amazing technology for the, yes. for the world. Yes. <laughs> the OLED people are really enjoying that more and yeah, more. It's VR. big quantities. Mm -hmm. It's increasing. Mm -hmm. um, it's getting slightly more affordable also. Uh, yes. It, it will be... It's very come, premium. Yes. It's going to be... Uh, we hope to see OLED uh, take over the world, basically. We want it to be more prevalent. And we wish that people... It enters more and more people's lives in the future.